Hey, here's a puzzle for you. Can you solve this integral? Okay, now you might be thinking, Rich, what's going on here? Why are you showing us this integral? So let me tell you the story of what this is all about. This was my submission to the 2025 Heidelberg Integration Bee, which is a competition put on by the University of Heidelberg in Germany, where students compete to solve integrals for the title of Grand Integrator. And it's a fantastic event. Any event where people come together and do math, I love it. I just think it's the coolest thing ever. So what happened was a few months ago, they sent me an email and they said, hey, you know, some of our students enjoy watching your videos. And so can you submit an integral and a video message for the competition? And I was like, yeah, totally. I would love to. That'd be awesome. So I spent all evening writing a bunch of integrals. And I found that they were either way too easy or way too hard. <laughs> it was really difficult to come up with an integral that was not so easy but not so hard. It was tricky to try to get something that's fun and that feels like a puzzle to solve, like you're doing a Sudoku or something. And anyway, I think that the integral shown here, even though it looks monstrous and difficult, is actually, hopefully, a fun puzzle. And so I wanted to share it with you today because I figured if you enjoy my videos, if you enjoy the math and the physics, then I think you can get a lot of entertainment out of this. So in this video, I'm going to review the solution and then I'm also going to show you some video and some pictures from the Integration Bee, with their permission, of course. But before we get into that, if you want to go ahead and try to solve this puzzle, I highly recommend giving it a try. In theory, it can be solved in just a few minutes, if you look at it just right and recognize the patterns and identify the trick to the solution. And it's actually very satisfying. So if you wanted to go ahead and pause the video and give it a try, I think you might really enjoy it. Because, I mean, look at this thing. It's like, hold on, what is going on? An integral, a couple of sums, everything with the infinities. And we've got the imaginary unit, and we've got pi, and we've got factorial, and a factorial, and a factorial, and we've got a polynomial, and we've got a n plus m to the p, whatever that is, and all integrated over dx. I mean, what a, what a thing. <laughs> all right, so I assume that for those of you who wanted to give it a try, you've already paused the video. So now we're going to go ahead and get into the solution. All right, so this integral was actually the first integral in the final round of the competition. So it's a tough one. And so I did go ahead and assume that the contestants would probably know the two identities shown here. The first is the Taylor expansion of e to the x. When you study calculus and when you learn about Taylor series, this is the first one that you learn. So this is a very common thing. So I figured that probably if you're in an integration B, you're going to be aware of that identity. Now the second one is a little more esoteric, but not terribly so. This is the equation that if you integrate from 0 to infinity, x to the n, e to the negative x dx, that equals n factorial, for n being a natural number. You know, you often see this written with n minus 1, and that's the definition of the gamma function. So if you've worked with the gamma function, you'll recognize this equation. You'll think, oh, that's gamma n plus 1, and so therefore, since gamma n is n minus 1 factorial, then therefore that's going to equal n factorial. Now I think probably not everyone in the integration B would recognize this second identity off the top of their head, but enough of the contestants would that I think this is not such a terrible assumption to make. Also, say you'd never seen this equation before, but you're pretty good with the integrals, well, you can try to solve it with an integration by parts. And when you do that, you'll end up in a recursive process that after a couple minutes you realize, oh, this is n factorial. So even if a contestant didn't know the second identity, they could still figure it out, although it would add a couple minutes to the solution time, and so probably you wouldn't be able to solve it in five minutes if you had to derive this identity without just pattern recognition. So, well, anyway, let's get to the solution, shall we? Alright, so whenever you see an infinite sum, and a factorial in the denominator, and some things in the numerator raised to the power of that index, you should think to yourself, hey, maybe this is an exponential function. So let's try to do a little pattern matching. So with that sum over p, we see the p factorial, and we can identify everything that's raised to the factor of p. When we do that, we recognize that all this purple stuff can be written as e to the i pi n plus m. And then we also have that factor of i to the 2n left over from when we took out the i to the p. 
Now, i to the 2n, it's like, wait a minute, n is an integer, so 2n is an even integer. So i to the 2n, that's just negative 1 to the n. And then when you look at the purple term, it's like, wait a minute, e to the i pi n plus m, but n and m are integers. Well, if n plus m is even, then that's going to be e to the i 2 pi times an integer. So that's going to be 1, you know, full rotations in the complex plane. Or if n plus m is odd, then you're going to end up with i to the half integer multiple of 2 pi. And so you'll end up doing a full rotation and a half in the complex plane, and that'll end up being negative 1. So this expression e to the i pi n plus m is none other than negative 1 to the n plus m power. And when you recognize that, it's like, wait a minute, let's go ahead and squish these two terms together. Multiply negative 1 to the n times negative 1 to the n plus m, you end up getting negative 1 to the 2n plus m, but if n is an integer, then 2n is even, and negative 1 to the even number is just 1, and so really that expression is just negative 1 to the power of m. Well, that's a delightful simplification. So let's go ahead and rewrite the integral. While we're at it, we'll recognize that we can bring the 1 over n factorial outside the integral, and we can bring the x to the n outside the sum over m. And then the orange and the purple terms, we can replace that with this pink, negative 1 to the m. And now it's like, well, 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 look at what we have here. The sum over m is itself an exponential function. Well, there's a negative 1 in there as well. So that's going to be negative x to the power of m over n factorial summed over m, so that's just e to the negative x. So we can replace that whole sum over m with just e to the negative x, and look how nice and simple our integral has become. Alright, now at this point, you can either bust out the integration by parts, or, for the gamma function enthusiasts, you can recognize that the integral is simply n factorial, and at that point we're left with 1 over n factorial times n factorial, and so the solution is 1. Alright, now I want to show some video from the integration B, so you can get a sense of what the competition was like, and I'll also do a play-by-play -play of the solution attempts of the contestants. Now before we get into that, I do want to say, even though in principle this integral could have been solved in under 5 minutes, it really depends on if you happen to be looking at it from just the right angle, and so it's very possible that the first time you see an integral like this, you're not going to solve it in under 5 minutes, because if you recognize different patterns and you try to solve it a different way, you know, there's a lot of things that a really good mathematician would try to do here that aren't necessarily the moves that lead directly to the solution. So if I were there in the competition in front of all those people with the chalkboard and the five minute time limit, I don't know if I would have solved this. I'll be totally honest. In fact, probably I wouldn't because I would have crumbled under all that pressure. <laughs> Well, anyway, I think, you know, this integral might have actually been a little too tough given the format of the competition, but, um, but anyway, I do think it's a fun integral, and if you've tried to solve it on your own, I hope you've enjoyed it. Parallele an der Stelle. <lacht> Somit haben wir dasselbe Finale wie im letzten Jahr. Wieder Felix gegen Karan. Ja, ich glaube, das wird dieses Jahr... Es wird dieses Jahr das Ringen um den Titel. Ihr beide habt euch in den letzten Runden, wie im letzten Jahr, tapfer geschlagen. Seid tapfer hier vorne in den Ring gestiegen und habt um den Titel Grand Integrator 2025 gekämpft. Und auch für dieses erste Integral in unserem Finale haben wir uns ein besonderes Integral überlegt und eine kleine Botschaft für euch und für unsere Finalisten. Hey all, my name is Richard Behill and I make math and physics videos for YouTube. Uh, I'm honored to be submitting an integral for you today. It's a tough one. <laughs> the first time you see it, it's like, whoa, what is going on here? What's this? But with a couple of clever tricks, you can figure it out. So I hope you enjoy it.
Ja, lieber Felix, lieber Karan, seid ihr bereit für eure The Wash vom letzten Jahr? Dann geht es jetzt um den Titel Grand Integrator 2025 und hier ist euer erstes Integral. Viel Spaß! <lacht> All right, and with five minutes on the clock, our brave contestants begin their adventure. Let's go ahead and fast forward a couple minutes so we can see what they're up to. Well, if we check in on Karan, it looks like he's recognized the I to the 2N situation and has brought that out to the front as a negative one to the nth power. And he's also gone ahead and brought out the N factorial to the front, which is nice. So those are both two solid moves, definitely a step in the right direction. He seems to be trying to do some sort of a substitution where he's introduced the variable L, and it looks like he's trying to find a way to reformat the terms so that the whole complexity unravels into something simpler. Let's see what Felix is up to. Well, there's a lot to parse here. Hmm. Well, it looks like he's thought about pulling the sums outside the integral, and he's also recognized the 2n in the i, replacing it with a minus sign, although that should be a negative one to the n. So that's a potential misstep, but it looks like later on he realized that and brought it back as a 2n in the exponent of i. So that's a nice save. Now it looks like he's defined a variable l equals n plus m, similar to what Karan was doing, and so now he's going to try to rework things in terms of that variable L. Now when I saw that, I realized, oh shoot, if you look at the integral, you see this repeated factor of n plus m, and it does totally look like that's the thread that you're supposed to pull to make the whole sweater unravel. You know what I mean? Like, it looks like you're supposed to set that equal to some variable. And so I think it's no coincidence that both of these guys are thinking along those lines problem is that leads you down a blind alley it ends up not working and i didn't even realize that when i submitted the integral i wasn't thinking about that but in retrospect it's like yeah that is devilishly deceptive so anyway sorry about that so yeah what happens from here on out is both of the contestants kind of get stuck at that step now i have no doubt that if they had more time both of these guys would have solved the integral und die Zeit ist abgelaufen. Ja, ich glaube, wir haben an der Stelle, soweit ich das erkennen kann, keine Lösung gefunden. Liebe Jury? Well, anyway, the timer ended up running out, and uh, I guess that would be a tie for this particular integral. Now, there are more integrals in the final, and at the end of the day, the winner of the competition was Felix. I want to go ahead and end this video by congratulating Felix, the winner of the competition, and the grand integrator of 2025. Well done. Well done.